All right, hello there. I am Papa One, and we are on AOS Virtual Parasite Two, pay per view number seven. And a little bit earlier on today, probably around 2 p.m. or something, I had did the grappling divisions title match, and Volcom was able to win it. And I believe the score was something like, as far as point goes, I think. Russian Tiger had like either four or six points to I know Volkan only having two and Volkan was able to get the submission four minutes and 50 seconds into the matchup or whatever like that so that's kind of important as far as stuff like that but the reason that I lost the video and that's what we're really that's what I really want to talk to you about even though the Wi-Fi is not on you can see this File Manager and AZ Screen Recorder, both apps need to be updated. And I can't really like, cause you know, the Wi-Fi is not on at this particular moment. So I can't really like show you exactly what's going on with that. But we delete this right quick. That was the only thing got the screenshot to do what cause I'm farther ahead on that book now. But you see right here that this was the latest update and I did it like a couple a hour or no yeah I did it like a couple hours after the fact but this is one of the main reasons why the what's name because the file manager app been needed update but this one needed update starting today so sometime earlier on today probably while I was recording the grappling division match but I did take a little bit longer the whole entire video lasted for at least 74 and a half minutes so an hour and 14 minutes and a half and stuff like that so an hour almost an hour and 15 minutes basically and like for what reason the video when it go over to the what's name and then i should have screenshot the trouble i was having with trying to get on there but like yeah that was this app and i ain't re and i forgot that file manager also need to be updated so now you see on here both of them are updated. Now, this is not all bad news, as you can see, because as you can see with all of that, because I had trouble with this stuff before where, you know, when the apps need to be updated and I'm doing the recording, sometimes it'll make me lose the video or make video stop prematurely or whatever like that. So that's what had happened. I'm not sure if that was the re no, cause that would have been the reason for the that that um cabanas because this update just started today. Yeah, so the cabanas I believe was like on the what was that? It was either on the twentieth or the twenty seconds when I started the cabanas championship match. Yeah, so this had nothing to do with that. But anyway, that's what had happened so we got a couple of things I want to talk about so let's go on to the actual game so yeah after he had lost it wasn't like he lost by a huge margin but the main thing was he wasn't able he got points but he wasn't able to do any real damage to his opponent so that's why I ultimately end up ending the match and stuff like that because he failed to do any significant damage to Volcom before losing. I'm talking about Russian Tiger now. So we're gonna go in here and look at his AI set. So I end up changing his stuff. Now I would um, rematch them right quick just to test them out again, but I already done that, did that, done that. So, you know, let's go in here. So what all do I need to showcase? I'm gonna talk about that in a minute. Those two characters are new in a second. Gotta talk about that again. Now, how was that? Oh, yeah, I forgot. Now, we're gonna show you for the very last time, because this video is gonna be the last time we talk about the grappling division. You know, just doing a little quick recap. I'm gonna try to take no more than like 10 or 15 minutes, because this is basically gonna be me talking about it. You know, with the grappling division's title match. So, yeah, again, Volcan lost, and immediately after he. Be, I mean, Volcan won, my bad. Which ties them for the most title defenses, believe it or not. Because right here, we go here. Volcan had 
by title defenses with his first title reign going to this match. Now, Rage had lost his title match to Minus Punch, and if any videos I would have hoped had not freaking could save, it would have been those three matches because they were the least competitive ones on here so far for this pay-per-view as both of them were dominated victories going in both ways and stuff like that at the minus punch won the first one by 15 knockdowns to three you know i took about three hours to figure out how to make you know rage better and then he turned around and won the next title match you know 15 to, to six in knockdowns and about a couple of rounds as well. Both of them were under six rounds, I believe. I think both of them were under six rounds. I could probably go in there to make sure that that's the case. But anyway, in the third match, I did the same thing with Minus Punch, but I ended up finding out that, like, you know, with Minus Punch, I could be a little bit more extensive with the um, move set, as far as, like, the, not the move set, but the, um, but with the AI set is because shoot wrestling. You only got so many different type of moves and like you can only really have your character set up for like do you want them to grapple or strike or do both along with the you know with the submission game but with the striking particularly when i made the the boxing character as i already told you i already made seven boxers we now have eight because not only did i make mines punch but i got another a new one called myth and i'll talk a little bit about him later but right now, I'm showing you the difference with the new AI settings for, you know, for, um, Rage. So, we got to go on here to Crafts right quick. So, Minus Punch has, I mean, so Rage has his first loss. He's no longer champion. Yeah. And I think I got to go, yeah, it's right here somewhere. Okay, I didn't take it off yet. So, that's good good for me I haven't taken this off yet because that would hurt me talk about what the hell I need to talk about those are the old ones I got to delete those now but what I did improve is this and this so this is for rarely bleeds and this is for aggressive when bleeding that's his reaction to blood he's super aggressive and stuff like that but doesn't really pan too well because he can't really activate those type of things because he's in the grappling division. You know what I'm saying? But hopefully it'll allow him to try to, like, when he is injured, to, like, you know, build meter quicker to get to a super meter and stuff. This all stayed the same. And then we move on to this. So let's go out to this. We're going to move on to here. Now, this is grappling this is balance and this is always defense and the way it was was you see right there striking this right here stands for always grappling and this stands for mostly offense so that's why I changed the route so it's pretty damn opposite of what it used to be is what I'm trying to get at and one thing I'm going to do in this video is I want to test it out Cause this when I did made these changes he was able this time around to get at least seven takedowns and he was able to injure his opponent's arm and stuff like that that video is lost as I already told you because you know the problem with the apps needing updates and shit like that that tends to happen a lot nowadays so yeah so this is gonna be the final version of this character so what we're going to do is if you haven't seen it before, if you've been really paying attention to the me figuring out the characters, because that's why I've been having a couple of videos take a little bit longer. I sometimes test about against each other. You know, the AI said this to see which one will work more effective in the match and stuff like that. So I already know that the other AI said is you know what work well against um, you know certain characters stuff like that but what we want to see here and I'll go on here is we want this and I'm gonna click on this we're gonna basically give this one these moves right here 
So these two look the same, but as you already know, when I'm changing stuff, I like to change the outfit for the original one for it could be in white. So we're going to make his stuff all white. His shoes included, they're going to be all white. There's not going to be a shred of anything on them. So his outfit is pure white, you know. And then we're going here. And we're going to change this to this. Go change this to always for grappling. And change this to this. So this is the way. And then we can look on the screenshots, right? We'll look on the screenshots right quick. Because this version just lost to, you know, Vulcan pretty damn easily, you know. So you can see right there, it looks exactly the same you know as this I gave the, the old version of him the new uh, like um, changes I think I changed one or two moves but like you can see it looks exactly say oh also I got to change those two things back to normal so so what I'm gonna do is reason I'm doing this stuff right quick is because we're finna have these two face off but before we have the face off I gotta do one little bit one little more test with the character alright and then we can move on to other pressing matters that I wanted to talk about in the video that I didn't get the chance to because you know everything happened with it now I already previously recorded this video but I deleted that what I'm doing right now, not the actual match. I'm talking about I already pre recorded the match, talking about what happened, where everything, and like the new changes with the character. But I deleted that video because I know what the problem was. And I like to figure things out. And I know that, and I figured out that it had to be the um, app that needed to be updated because I was going over there to like test out because I was thinking of putting a new, a different app on the phone to replace one of my other apps. So basically, what I'm trying to do here is. Make sure everything stayed on there. So this one got the basic changes and stuff like that. And if I did make any new moves for Russian Tiger or changing his moves, these two got the same stuff, you know. So that's what's going on with that. So let's see. I'm going to put the Russian Tiger that I have now. He's going to do two simulations. The first one. As you can already guess, will be against Kyoji with the MMA Rules title match because we already know this version has beat Kyoji in the with those rule sets. So I want to see that this one can do it. Then we're gonna have them face off in a grappling match, the two different AI settings, because they got all the exact same moves. Only thing different about them will be the AI settings, and we'll see how they compare versus each other and stuff like that but also I need to make sure that the new AI settings are capable of winning still you know that's that's one of the main things I always concern myself with making sure whatever changes I make still has the same performance value as the other and stuff like that so with the new improved AI settings he basically can do you know He's not really prone to really using his striking, but he will go for his striking. He just, it's not like his first option or nothing. You know, his first option is grappling and then you know he's balanced and he's always defensive and stuff like that. Which is good for counters and stuff like that. Countering your opponent and stuff, you know. So, he started out so good, he got that first takedown. Which was the strong Sambo suplex, and then he immediately went for the um, running, I guess, butt drop or something. I don't know how to really characterize that. Or Bunzai drop, the running Bunzai drop. Yeah, I think that's what it's called too. A running Sitai drop, or a variation of it. I know that, um, what's the name? Who used to use that a lot? Back when I first started back at watching WWE again, I believe the wrestler, yeah, that was Finley. Well, as you know, Fit Finley or David, Dave Fit Finley or whatever like that. But Finley was what his name was when he was on SmackDown. 
I remember he used to use that move a lot in his matches. He would sometimes he would come off the road, but a lot of times he would just jump in the air and land squarely on your stomach or chest or whatever in the sitting position or whatever like that, or squatting position. Yeah, it was an effective move that he used to use a lot and stuff like that. It was weird to look at because it was like, what the hell is he doing? But it looked effective as hell. And like, you know, it's just as good as any other type of centaur that you could use against an opponent. So we're just trying to see if he could put up a competitive match. And so far he has because look at Kyoji's health. I mean, not health, but his his um energy or meter or whatever is freaking low, low. You gotta stop getting those reversals against him. Uh, that's that's one thing that he gotta stop have done to him. Is the reversals. And I think I gotta change one more thing with the AI settings for the um the old style of the character because I think he has his stuff on normal for the other things. Not sure. Yeah, so I'm trying to see if these changes could win this match and then we already saw that he did decent versus the champion and stuff like that with these AI settings, which is the new ones. You know, but I wanted to see what would be the real difference versus the old AI settings and stuff like that. And like I always say, like, um, oh, also something that you probably did not hear me say was like, reason I always have them go against Kiyoshi and um, Shiro is because they were the original inaugural, you know, what's the name, champions for the MMA and Absolute Division. Even though they're no longer the champs, they still were like decent, you know, characters on the game and stuff like that. So... You know, it's always good to have that and stuff like that with the game, with the characters, the characters you want to use and stuff like that. So, like, I was thinking of possibly changing up what he's supposed to do as far as, like, his submissions on here for, you know, Russian Tiger. But look at that. He got that win in 2 minutes and 51 seconds. Okay. He got that with it. Two minutes, fifty-one seconds. So you could say that the he's improved because I don't think with these AI says he was able to get that victory as quickly. I don't think he got it as quickly as that. So let's also see one more thing. So one more thing for the Russian Tiger. Yep, those two things at the bottom are normal. Yeah. So I got to put that back on there for normal for the old. AI settings because these two are about to face off. You know, we're going to have these two face off, so I got to put those back on there. So I want everything to be the way it was already. I haven't proved on no other thing as far as the moves or nothing, but whatever improvements this one has, the newest AI settings have, the old one AI settings have. All thing that's different is their tactics and stuff and their personality or whatever like that like the reaction to blood and if they bleed and stuff like that so that's one thing that's probably like different between the two you know so I guess we could do the new versus the old or whatever like that but I may go more extensive with this but that's just a little bit of what I decided that I'm gonna start doing for now on as far as like the characters go and like I already know this stuff so you know we'll need to pull up the rule sets for this because this is the actual damn title match and I usually do that for you can know that but these are the title match rules though for that division yeah these are the title match rules for that division make it sure it's one our difficulty one more time and let's see how this plays out you know Yeah, so that's a fun little way that, like, when you're creating characters and stuff like that, if you're using my system, if you're having just the plain old 16 characters, then this system is not going to really work for you because you can't really do what I'm doing right now with this stuff. Because if you got 16 characters, that's, I'm well, you could probably still do it, but the thing is, like, 
you're going to have to like you know go back to one of your previous audio saves if you don't use the slots and stuff like that the stuff that I'm doing right here with these two I haven't saved nothing with the slot saves and let me do that right now oh wait wait I gotta put this on zero for we won't accidentally save this and we gotta go after this match because I just realized what I didn't do correctly because you just saw him hit the three German suplexes the multiple Germans and like he didn't get his what's the name stuff yeah I guess sometimes I do need to freaking do that yep I put it on the rounds and stuff like that that's crazy look at that well, that's the point they still up there I do need something to do points and look it stayed on there and the match has to start with 15 points for each of them but there was no way to score points you see you had this with zero this was nothing this was free and this is on zero so how is they ever go to score points that's crazy I forgot to do that right quick so that's where we had to exile that match anyway here we go Let me make sure they're coming out the right corner. So, yep, the red corner is, you know, the one that's on the left, and the blue corner is the one on the right at the bottom of the screen, as far as like their meter goes for their energy and stuff like that. The damage is basically what you see when they're holding on the area that's injured and stuff like that. Here we go. Now we got the right sense, which I had to write the first time because he already had scored a damn takedown like the first two seconds or so the one with the new AI says which is the one with the color the one in white is ones without it oh he still scored a takedown well but not before getting a little bit of arm damage with that that counter for the um arm bar and stuff yeah so The only thing really different about them is the AI settings and stuff like that. But I am going to keep this one no matter who wins or loses. But I do want the one in the red and blue to win. All because you saw how easy he just beat Kyoji and stuff like that. You know, the nerve match just now. You saw how easy that was. And I like the fact that this one is going for the stuff I want to go for with the submissions and everything else. He's just doing everything correctly, this version of it and the one that's not the one that I'm gonna keep which is the one in all white I'm not gonna make another character who's similar to him cuz I gonna start being original again with the characters even though it is original because I do change up the moves even if they are like similar to the previous character I do change up the moves and stuff like that yeah Look at that. Lead body shot to jab. I don't personally do that combination because I like to go. Well, I have done that combination before. Lead body shot to leap to jab and stuff like that. But I th I'd rather do jab then go to the body with the lead hand. You know? Because the jab comes from your lead hand. And the cross comes from your rear hand, which is the right hand, or whatever like that. My bad. Cross comes from your rear hand, which is your right hand if you're unorthodox. It's your left hand if you're southpaw, I should say. This is a little bit competitive, so like, even though we didn't get to see the what's the name match, you already saw one decent match by the new improved Russian Tiger and this is a decent match to watch even though it's the same character versus so but I like to think that like if you're going if you're going to use the same character twice you the main thing you got to do is change the AI says changing the moves is kind of like cheap or whatever like that is because 
The moves don't really really matter what the character what matter it will matter for the character of like say a character had like limited submission moves that they like to go for then you give them a ton of submission moves that would change up the character for like certain matches and stuff for all the matches or whatnot but like far as this goes it would also change it up but you know the main thing to change about them is the way they their approach to a, a match their tactical approach which is the ai settings that's the main thing to change about them and make them different so they can have everything the same as far as move but if their tactical approach or their ai settings or whatever like that that's different then that's how they're going to approach the fight game that's that that's basically their fight iq you know two people could be similar as hell but like you know, one with a better fight IQ may be more likely to win the match than this, that, and the other. One who's more aggressive would be, or let's say not necessarily more aggressive, but they're prone to, you know, like, um, not, you know, having better resolve and like, you know, you know, and like not taking their foot off the gas even when hurt and stuff like that. So that's what I'm talking about with all that stuff. So, and look, he's dominating like I thought he would. This version is dominating like I thought he would. And this is... Is this on? God damn. So look at that. He beat his old self up. Took a little bit longer than it took with the, um... You know, I guess, um... Kyoji and stuff like that. But Russian Tiger, his stuff has been improved. And... Let's just do one more match with the Russian Tiger because we did not get, you didn't get to see that. That was on the other video where I did him versus, you know, this character. So, we're going to do this one, Volkan. Volkan did the, uh, successfully defend his title, but, you know, Russian Tiger just like rage. They're going to have to go into another one contenders match to get their, you know, crack at the champion again and stuff like that so this only went one match this is just me trying to see if the improvements on top of the improvements for russia tiger were substantial and worth doing and stuff like that so you know you didn't get to see the actual title match but you know this is not a this is just a little you know compensation for that for that match not being able to be shown and you're getting three matches in one you know which you probably would have got anyway had stuff gone the way it went with the with the had the video not messed up you know you still had got probably two of these matches had the video not messed up stuff like that but I like the way he's approaching it now the other one seemed like he was approaching it a little too much with the you know with the grappling and stuff like that. And he was doing strikes a little too often and stuff like that, you know? Cause like, it'll matter. You want your character to do strikes and stuff like that. But like, if he's supposed to be somebody who wants to go for submission, go for the submission, like, it's not bad that he went for grapples at all. I'm not saying that's bad at all. But like, if he's mainly supposed to be going for submissions, then he should be going for submissions then stuff like that I don't mind him doing grapples but the thing is 15 grapples try to do 15 grapples versus trying to do you know freaking a few submissions that ultimately get the tap out you know it's a little bit different and look at that he goes for sometimes his submissions sometimes he goes for the you know the, the um, ground game with the you know ground and pound and the uh, either the you know arm bar from the full mount position or the rear naked choke from the back control Now after this we're going to show you the what's name. So this is, this doesn't count. This is just like a little, like, seeing that like, you know, like with proper AI sense to see if it, the match would have went differently. But this, 
doesn't prove that he will win because he I already told you he won the um practice match back at show 7B where I did a little practice match between him and the champion he won that and then he was able to win the tire match so this don't really mean nothing but I can see already that I like the way he's approaching the match and what he's choosing to do with his damage and stuff like that I like this approach way better you know and yeah that's one of the moves I did pull in here that's different I think he had I forgot I think he had a leg submission that he goes for once he when he's near their legs but now that leg submission he goes for when they're like you know in a seated position then he goes for that um leg lock submission and now he goes for the lion tamer slash walls of jericho or whatever like that i like to call it the lion tamer because i think we goes for the watch jericho is more representative of what you see with um you know a boston crab and then the lion tamer is more so the one where like you know He's arching your whole entire back with his knee resting on like the back of your head or something like that. And that looked like a submission you cannot escape from, in my opinion. I reached, I'm not sure if I should make that his go-to move again. Because he also uses that arm bar that you see that um, Volkan keep on using. I'm liking this too. I'm going for that. I'm not, I'm not sure if he already got injured ribs or whatever like that. Focon. He may have already got his ribs his ribs injured in this matchup. Nope. Not yet. I thought they would be. But look at that. Here I got, you know, here I got freaking seven points that he took away from his opponent. And now the head is injured, you know? So this is not bad at all. He got his first points via takedown just now. He may be getting close to injuring that arm. That's the thing that I'm. I'm thinking about he may have got that arm injured already yeah I may change up some things with the character and stuff like that have him attack the arm with that same submission that you see Volkan going against against him but you know have him do that because I'm gonna have him with plenty of you know moves that attack the body and stuff like that you know because he is a grappler so he is going to attack the body but I need him to worry down that arm a little bit more or a little bit quicker you know So that is a slight improvement or something I could possibly look into for this character with his moves and stuff like that. But I would want to give him some more submission to affect the body and stuff like that as well. You know, no need to let off on no submissions. Like for a standing grapple, I think I'm going to have him do that takedown with the body shots and stuff like that. Have him use that. It doesn't seem he's doing too bad, and he don't want his opponent to get his super, because if he gets the super, the match is pretty much done for. Especially because, and I think it's kind of smart for the AI to not have anything with the, yeah, look at that. It's, I think this is going to be a loss, yeah. This is definitely going to be a loss right here. See? Shoot wrestlers with their fucking ability to quickly snap a victory with submissions is ridiculous on this game. But 
he did improve and do way better than he did last time so congrats on that and what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of this so i only want to think about that no more so let's go in here for the russian tiger and we're going to basically take those old ai settings off because you know we just proved which one was the more dominant ai settings and you saw how much better he did in that matchup so we can oh wait see y'all i got make sure russian tiger russian tiger russian tiger all right because i'm gonna save those other ai settings for him now and stuff like that but i'm gonna do that after the videos of which what i want to do right quick is see about something right quick we're gonna see about something we're gonna go back on to slot number eight and what you what i said i should do i stop doing that as often but you're supposed to do it like this then you click on it to make sure there's no chance of you accidentally pressing the wrong thing so ai sends all that we're all good on that now you know but what i'm gonna have to do is this and this i show this time and time again for the characters and stuff like that when i go about doing this stuff yeah If you know what if you don't know what I'm doing I'm only changing something for blood so yeah yeah so that. yeah so like if you're changing something for um blood or something like that a move that's gonna be going blood you you don't really have to worry have about the KOs and stuff like that but you're doing for KO you might as well change everything you know so I'm only really worried about the blood so the moves I got that's doing blood that I don't have designated for doing blood so this is gonna change and this is going to become this move right here. I'd rather have this be this right here. That. And yeah, sometimes the game glitches with that stuff. You know, you saw that glitch just now with the characters and whatnot. But it was a different looking character on the screen. I don't know what the hell that shit is, but that tends to happen on here sometimes. All right, it was only two moves that did blood. Okay. Okay, there's only two moves on here that did blood that shouldn't be doing blood or whatever. And that's what this is for, you know. That's what that's for. So I. I can hurry up and do what the hell I need to do this time around, you know, because you saw that little glitch that just happened. Okay, let's hurry up and get to, what is it, 91? I believe that was, no, it was 91. Yeah, all that glitch is going to probably happen again. Let's hurry up, let's hurry up and get this shit off. Yeah, alright. Now let's save it before we see that, you know, the thing where it freezes the game again. Yeah, just making sure it doesn't freeze it this time around. And what I said was going to change, because all this other stuff is of no consequence to me. And I could make this do blood, you know, when he does the reversal for it. Oh, wait, that's not the right move. Yeah. To make do blood that's the submission that's his front back one would have been perfect for that so what move I said I was going to try to change this to the shoulder block yeah change that to the shoulder block and I guess I could allow that to do blood still have him do the diving one I don't know why I even had him doing the diving one I just had him doing the diving one so just have him with the regular shoulder block now, running shoulder block. Cause you you see how there's barely any moves on here for shoot wrestling style and stuff like that. So oh yeah, also I gotta change this to this. So I want to do that as well. And then we'll go down here. 
and this is the only other move that I had that was doing blood damage. So that's what you basically got to worry about when you're chain stuff. When you're chain stuff for the KOs and stuff like that, especially if you're me, I tend to have a lot of them. And there's five moves that do KO that I put on there personally. So you got to always take away all the blood moves that's already on the game for moves that unmakely do blood or KO damage. Then you can switch around whichever move you have that you got doing blood damage that you don't want to have to do blood damage no more. So that's basically how it works on the game. And that's just, and that's not just my opinion. This is a, exactly how it works on the game. And after you save like changes and stuff like that, sometimes it's okay to have it on the character you want the game to be on and stuff like that. You know, it's okay to have it on a certain character to be saved because that lets you know that was the last character you did anything with. And now that I know that I got it on that character, like even if after this video is done, I'm going to remember to save the AI settings because I was like, what character was I improving? Or I could just look back to when was the last championship match I did and stuff like that. I have not enough sleep for today because I think I went to bed at 3 got back up probably around six or close to seven o'clock so need to be getting back to bed so just gonna try to finish this up right quick and let's just make sure that the changes I know the changes should be on you know the slot thing but making sure the changes are on here so the main thing to do is see that that's that and you know the shoulder block right here and you see the two, the minus two. Now the minus sign is for after you get done with, if you see this down there, that means you add plus five to both of these categories. So when it says minus 18 for the KOs, that's really 23, because you get five that you can set for anything. Well, at least when I do it, it's 23. What other people probably do it, it's probably just what you see on the board and stuff like that but I like to use those five moves I can have for KO for moves that don't do KO I like to do that stuff you know that's what it means for me though you know so let's see if this improves him at all you know I like to save I must keep the changes saved but I want to see if this helps him pick up the victory at all you know these slight little changes I just made and yeah it's this is why I do f from time to time to like try to help improve my characters to give them a better shot at victory when they lose and stuff like that I gotta make sure this is 15 as well I was finna say I'm done with all the settings yeah I try to make sure that my characters are capable of winning their matches and stuff like that and the reason that we got time decision for all the matches because if you have no time decision turned on at all, the when the um, match is over with, the person with the most points won't win the match for whatever reason. It'll still end up being the draw, which is stupid to me. But I guess it makes sense because the whole point of a time decision is basically the, the game based off of whoever did better and also who had more points, you know. So that does make sense to me. So, check it one more time. Let's go over this because I did do it wrong the first time around. So, we got 15, 15. Yes, yes, yes. One point, one point, two rounds. And I gotta go check out something. Car door. I mean, not car door, but car horn, I should say.
I'm back now, but I'm not sure what's been going on with this match. You know? What's the time looking like? 49 minutes? Nobody looks injured, but he is winning on points again. I gotta look at the replay to see if he's been using that freaking move that just got be just got used on him. You know, looks like he's been using some arm bars because he is moving slower to the ropes. So it's probably gonna be an arm damage in a second. Yep. That arm bar right there put some arm damage on there. Significant arm damage. Okay, so this is a much improved version of him. adjustments to your characters and you can make them I'm I'm about to say man if he was able to hang on with arm damage and still escape that submission I would have been mad as hell because you know damn well Volkan barely does any leg submissions as it is and he won the he regained his title and he won that match earlier by doing that little body scissors that little body scissors takedown into that leg submission so if your arm is injured and somebody goes for an arm bar f submission finisher, you should be tapping out, man. I get that he was going to tap out early or quickly, but yeah, Baron had tapped out. So, okay. So we got the improvements made on this game for this character. What not? Let me put this on zero right quick. I know that I'm going to freaking do what I'm going to do right quick. And save those AI settings, but I'll take care of that in a second because we are about to end this video. So, as you know, I already deleted the old stuff. As we saw, this version of his AI settings, along with the moves and stuff, was able to take out the old version. I know I should have made that one improvement to the to the arm submission and stuff like that for the old version as well, but this version was able to beat that one pretty easily and then he is also able to beat freaking Kyoji pretty easily and he only lost to freaking Volcom because you know I need to make a few more minor adjustments this time around with his moves and stuff like that and the old version probably could have possibly won had he had those adjustments made as well but it is what it is and for that point that's why I always like to test out that's why I think if you're fixing your character moves are important like my main thing is like strikes strikes and grapples certain grapples you will want to change because like any grapple that you could change into the reverse arm bar you know or you can get out of that grapple and take your opponents back when you're in the front grapple when you're into the front grapple they can counter and take your back those are moves you may want to change, stuff like that. You know? But, all is well that ends well with this game. So what I was gonna do? Oh yeah. So you already know, you already know what's coming up next. But I wanna put it back where we ended it. So yeah, again, I'm sorry that we don't have, you know, the video from this and stuff like that, but Bokan was able to beat the old AI said it's pretty decently or pretty easily. But this time around, after I fix the AI settings, then I fix the AI settings. Once I fix them, it made it more competitive match. But once I fix a couple of the moves and what to put as favorite stuff like that, it made it a knockout of park for freaking Russian Tiger. So I expect him to win the number one contenders match and then become champion at pay-per-view number eight so he lost in four minutes and 50 seconds we're only probably doing like four or six you know scoring four or six points 
but he was able to do any damage to any of his limbs or to his head or his body. This time around, I think he can. So until the next one later, hope you enjoy. I'm finna pull that down, even though it's not in the notification, it's sitting right here. Where is it at? Oh, it's at the bottom right here. All right, so to the next one, peace. And this is 50 minutes, 50 something minutes. All right, to the next one later. And that's why it looks like this now, because of the update. I'm gonna have to look at those settings too.